Good morning, you guys. It's pretty early. I may still have a little sleepy face. Um, I got up early this morning. I'm out here trying to get that bathroom finished. So that's my main goal for today. Uh, got my little mini rollers. Got me some more paint brushes. I got my uh, mask because this is going to be very strong. It's got the epoxy and um, acrylic paint. It's pretty strong. And that is going to finish out that bathroom shower. So, you know, plastic gets kind of yellow as it gets older. But everything's in really good condition. So I don't really see the point of ripping it out and tearing it out and putting a new shower surround in there. If I can just, um, these mixed together and you roll it on. And then I've got a little, a little spray. I could go over it at the end. Uh, it's kind of the same thing, tub and tile. If there's any little touch-ups I need to go over at the end. So that is my goal for today. And I'm out here this morning. It's not hot yet. So I've got the door open to give me some ventilation. I'm maybe open a window or two um, and get that done. Then I have to go in and make my dad's banana pudding and then go to Father's Day lunch in Plum Grove. So I kind of got a little busy day going on here today, but um, I got to get moving on this thing. So hang out with me, spend some time with me, and uh, let's get it done. All right, I got to get this thing threaded in here so it'll stay tight on my face because it is, the fumes are going to be pretty strong and I do not want to get any kind of a sickness from these fumes. So I'm gonna put this mask on today. It's a pretty good one. It's got that 3M little filter on there. So it's pretty good for uh, painting with these aerosol, with these fumes. And I got me some rubber gloves. I have a nail appointment tomorrow on Monday. So I, I'm trying to get all my painting done and all the things that could destroy my hands done today before I get my nails done tomorrow. I have to go teach a professional development on um, Wednesday, and I don't want to be there with ugly fingernails. And right now, they're literally, they're growing off my fingers. They're a mess. I broke one. I had to file it down. But I put that off because I've been doing all this work. So this is kind of like, I guess, a little nerdish of me. But uh, I was texting Lester this morning, and he's like, hey, I saw your video of... Uh, with yesterday, my work in the RV, and anyway, he was telling me how good it looked and stuff, and it's kind of like, you know, when Lester says, hey, I watched your video, and it was good, you're, it's like that affirmation from, like, my principal coming in and saying, hey, good job, Miss Martin, so Lester's like the hierarchy of YouTube, and when he says, hey, good job on your video, I'm like, yes, he liked it, <laughs> so that's kind of funny, but, um, well, you know, none of us would be here if it wasn't for Lester. I mean, he started it all. Let's let's be honest. He started it all for all of us. So nobody would have a YouTube page if it wasn't for Lester. So I definitely give credit where credit is due. All right. I'm going to get this on. Get in there. Let's see. Oh, this has got to go over two. Hold on, I got two straps. It's been a while since I had to wear a mask. There I am. All right. Okay, I want to give you guys a little before. So, I did spray a little bit of that Rust-Oleum to see how easy it would be. And I have a roll-on. I'm going to start with the paint. Oh, I'm out of breath already. I've been scrubbing. I was trying to make sure every little speck of dust is off this thing. So, I've been scrubbing and wiping. Uh, yesterday I sprayed a little bit of that Rust-Oleum right there just to see how it would take and it actually has a nice finish on it. So I'm going to do those walls right there with the roll-on as much as I can. Then I have, I'm going to take that down right now too before I start. And then I have the uh, spray to go over any finishing touches at the end. So this is the before you guys. See you in a few minutes. Okay, there's one coat. One coat's on there. I know I need a second coat, so I know there's little pieces that you, it's hard to see. 
I mean, pieces that you can see through. <laughs> so it's definitely going to have to have a second coat. So don't freak out yet. We'll see how it looks. I'm going to give this ton of time to dry. And then I'm going to get the second coat on there. And I think it's going to look pretty nice, you guys. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about my shower refinish. I'm leaving that gold bar. Don't worry about the gold bar. Because when I hang my shower curtain up there, that bar helps keep the curtain inside the shower. And so I debated taking that down because I know that was probably for a glass thing. But um, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Don't judge on that. Just look at the shower itself. It looks so nice. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that paint to dry, I figured I would go ahead and make my dad's banana pudding for his Father's Day. My dad's favorite dessert in the whole wide world is banana pudding. So, Robert sent me a little um, video of banana pudding ice cream that you can make. And I thought, that might be very good. I might try to make that for him one day. So my dad likes banana pudding, and he'll say, a little bananas and lots of cookies. So I usually make my bottom, I make like a little crust with the cookies on the bottom. And I set those cookies all around and hope that they stand up because sometimes they don't want to stand up. Are arranged you can see lots of cookies and because it's a glass bowl I try to put them all the way around the whole edges so it's easy to see all the uh, pudding itself and I take my pudding and I pour it in there Lots of cookies. That's what he likes. Daddy likes lots of cookies. Okay. And I've arranged the bananas and the cookies on top. It looks almost like a cookie flower. And that's my daddy's banana pudding. So there's how it looks in the glass bowl. It is full. And I have a lid, and I'll put the lid on. I gotta push the cookies down so they don't hit the lid. And I'll put that in the refrigerator, and I'll take that with him, with me when I go out there for a family dinner. All right, you guys, I'm back out here for the second coat. Um, it's hard to see. It's kind of some shadows on it right now, but um, it really has a nice gloss to it. Now, obviously. You can see their spots. It's, that's why it needs a second coat. But I'm really happy with the way that it's coming out. I really am pleased. So let me get the second coat on here and see how it looks at the end. Okay, we're out here for the second coat. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm really happy with the way that this is coming out. I know it. it there's some shadows on it right now because there's not really a lot. You can see the light from the over from the uh, skylight but it has some spots obviously it needs a second coat but I'm really happy with the way that it's come out it's got a real nice shine to it and so I think it's going to look really good when we're done so let me get the second coat put on oh my gosh you guys look at that look at that it is Beautiful, bright white perfection. And I even painted that toilet cover. <laughs> I am so happy with the outcome of this. I am so happy with the outcome. Oh my gosh, it's like a brand new shower and it's shiny. It's a really high gloss shine. It is so pretty. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud. 
So I'm going to let this dry all day today. Leave it alone all day. And then I've got that aerosol can for any little touch-ups that I see after it completely dries. I can go back over it. Little touch-ups with the aerosol can. I am so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is amazing. Just amazing. All right, well, I'm on my way out. Bennett just got home from his concert. I'm not going to film you, baby. I was going to show you guys real fast what I've got Dustin for Father's Day. Look, it's so cute. I am the father. <laughs> and they so cute. I love that. All right, show me your dance. This is what I kept. No, put that down. I can't show you. You're going to dance on camera? No, I didn't dance. It's a dance I was trying to imitate. Let me see. Show me on your phone. Okay, they're Hurry. called. It's Spanish flamenco dance. Lay it down. And you were doing this at a club? No! <laughs> Tell me you did that at the club. Yes, the horn. I think she's about to do it. She uses she that spinning action. Carmen Amaya. She's really she was a flamenco dancer. Oh no, you did not do that at a club. Sh Shiner Park and College Station. Oh. <laughs> it was made different. What is it? Because she used something. Different. All right, I love y'all. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Bye, Daniel. Happy Father's Day. Bye, Daniel. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. All right, here we go. Hey. Bye. Can you taste the difference? I didn't know if you could or not. I didn't have enough milk, so I used a little bit of half and half in it. Half milk and half half and half. So I didn't know if it'd be a little creamier or how it would taste. It's good, Daddy. I always make the best banana puddings anyway. He always... He says it to me secretly. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you like it. Now Kim has a banana pudding too. Happy Father's Day, buddy. Oh, no. I put mostly bananas because I think you like more bananas than you do. No, he doesn't. He likes more cookies than bananas. Dad, Dad tell him the truth. I, have to, I, love, I, love. I said in my video, I said, my dad always says, more cookies, less bananas. Yes, baby. Come get this. I love a lot of bananas. I love a lot of cookies. Dad, you've always me. told me more cookies. So Listen I bring the cookie pudding. Listen to me. I love it. I love them both. No, I love it. There's a lot of stuff chucked in it. That makes sense? Lots of chunks. He oh. tells Kim one thing, tells me one thing, so he gets two different types of... He gets two different, he types. Gets two different so types. he plays it smart. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a cookie pudding and a system. banana pudding. He plays the system. That's funny. That's the best of both worlds. Oh, I love your shoes, Cody Bear. Oh, what I can do is take them home and mix them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys. Do you know how good it feels to say that one room is done? I got my yellow throw pillow for the accents. And I got larger pillows to go in those um, shams. So, and then I hung up. These are kind of like silver curtains. And they are room darkening and they're insulated. So, it'll help it's how dark it makes it in here. So, you can't really tell. They're kind of like a dark, a dark silver or dark gray. <laughs> this room is done. Oh my gosh, how good does that feel to say that room is done? Oh, praise you, Jesus. All right, I'm going to give you a last look at my bathroom. Look at that white toilet. Got my little basket down there in my trash can. Look at that white shower, you guys. Look at that white shower. So pretty.
I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more and then I'll clean that up real good tomorrow and I'll hang the shower curtain up in there. And then that little rug right there, this little one is gonna fit perfectly right there. And I put the bigger one that matches right here at the sink. So. All right. So the last thing I'm going to do today is I got these uh, mattresses for the bunk beds. And I have washed all their little covers. They smell so good. These are the covers for those mattresses. Now, it's probably going to be quite a chore. But I'm going to tackle that. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I got one done. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys, taking cushions out is a heck of a lot easier than putting cushions back in. So uh, one down and two more to go. Okay, another job done. I got all three of the bunks in there. Uh, the mattresses, they've been rolled up for several months, so... It'll take a little bit for them to uh, kind of flatten out. But I got some really uh, good zipped up pillowcases on there. And there's the three bunks. And I'm probably just going to get sleeping bags and leave them rolled up in there in the back of each one. So depending on who spends the night, whether it's Carly, there's this one down here. Carly, Coda, or um, Bennett or Elijah, the beds will be ready for them. So, it's a little bit more to do, you guys. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, my table. Look, look, look. I forgot to show you this. Look. Look at my beautiful table. It's got some really thick polyurethane that protects this. You can't even feel that on there. I've got about six coats of my polyurethane on there. There's the runner for the floor here. I got the curtains that's gonna go up on that window right there. And some dish towels in there. I think that basket's gonna go right here in that opening right there. I'm gonna set that basket in there. So, I mean, I am knocking things out. I, uh, it's so much nicer working in here with that AC. I got a little sweaty still with those mattresses. That was quite a job. But uh, I got a lot done. And I'm so happy. So, uh, you guys, thank you so much. Another great day. Another, a lot of things accomplished. Uh, getting closer and closer to getting everything finished. And uh, like I said, hopefully uh, I'll make sure with Lester, I will talk to him and make sure him and Jamie will come out either Thursday or Friday of this week. Of course, that'll be a video. You guys will be along for that. Um, this video is probably going to post on Monday, so happy Monday. Um, and then I will do a lot of my finishing touches on Monday and Tuesday, and I'll get that video out on Wednesday. And then be looking for Lester and Jamie's visit, either on Thursday or Friday, depending on what day they come. So, thank you again, you guys. I'm Tina, and I'm living off the hill.